Scott, you know, it's the first time that we're going to play three exhibitions. And so, uh, you know, we're right out of the gate. I think we're home with Maryland, away at Virginia, away at Hartford, trying to put ourselves in positions to, uh, you know, to, to learn about our group, for our group to very quickly get acclimated to what, uh, you know, what college soccer is going to be about, to put uh, some new guys into some positions and, and see how they do and see where the areas they need to improve are. And so, you know, we'll kind of get right out of the gate with those exhibitions. You know, then we come up with our, uh, you know, our home tournament where we'll see Georgia Southern and Radford. Um, you know, Radford was really close on the bubble last year and didn't get in. They were in the year before. And I think it'll be two really good tests for us right out of the gate. Then we move on to, uh, to two more home games with, uh, with the ODU tournament that, that we host every year in, in Temple and Santa Clara. Temple, who uh, has a new coach who is the top assistant at Maryland for the last several years. You know, I think four really good games to open the season at home. Um, you know, then we, we hit the road to, uh, to Indiana, who was last year's runner-up in the national championship game. Um, it's been a few years since we played IU, and so looking forward to, uh, to heading back to Bloomington and, and in playing against, you know, probably, if not the, certainly one of the model programs in, in the college game. Um, and, and so they return, you know, quite a bit of their group and, and should be a fun Friday night in Bloomington. Uh, then we come back here to play Pittsburgh, who, uh, who played in preseason last year at their place. is a very, very good team. You know, we follow up then with our annual game with ODU, um, you know, another second round NCAA tournament team from last year. You know, Coach Dawson has, uh, has done just a great job there. Um, you know, that, that's been, uh, you know, not just in our sport, but certainly in, uh, in all the sports here, that's been a traditional rivalry, and, and I would expect that it uh, will be another great night at home with them. Uh, then we follow up with, uh, with Akron at home, who, uh, who lost to Stanford in the semifinals, um, and so our second College Cup team from, uh, from last year. And so I would expect that that would be, uh, be a really fun game. And you know, we've had that series now uh, since a couple years after I left, and... Uh, I don't think we've lost there, and I don't think they've lost here. And so, um, you know, it, but it's always a really exciting, fast-paced, entertaining game. You know, two teams that, uh, that put the ball down and play and, and get after it. That kind of wraps up our, our non-conference play before we get into the A-10. Um, A-10, I think, again this year is making another step uh, overall as, as a group. And so, you know, last year we had three teams in and a fourth really close on the bubble. I think Rhode Island was one of the last, you know, probably two or three teams on the page that got left out. Um, you know, I think the bottom of the league just continues to improve. And I think the top of the league ha has always had teams that are strong, uh, but maybe the numbers didn't always show that. And uh, I think the, with the bottom of the league coming up, I think the numbers will continue to reflect that. And, you know, what, what's gonna be, again, for our, our, our seventh year in the A-10, um, a tough, tough, uh, tough road to, to hoe. Um, you know, I think it's one of those uh, one of those leagues that doesn't get probably the respect it deserves. Um, you know, night in and night out. You, uh, if you're, especially if you're on the road, uh, you know, the combination of facilities and, and uh, quality players and coaches make it a very difficult league to win on the road. In um, the home matches are, I think, a lot of fun every year and. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of success, but uh, I think that, you know, this year may be one of the better years for the league, um, top to bottom. And, and so it's going to be, you know, an exciting test there. Um, you know, for example, last year, I think Fordham finished fifth or sixth in our league and, and went to the quarterfinals of the NSA tournament. You know, the, the draw worked out well. They have a quality team. And, you know, I think that that's not unusual, uh, certainly from our league. And, and so I would expect the, uh, the second half of the season to be, uh, to be a battle down to the wire. And, you know, certainly we put together a schedule that we feel like uh, can prepare us to, uh, you know, become our best before the end of the season. Different types of teams, different types of games, um, but certainly enough challenging ones that, you know, if we're able to take care of our business, um, you know, I think it sets us up for the possibility of uh, a large bid.